Welcome to Dr. PK Life YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about liver cancer screening. So the question is, who needs liver cancer? Normal people don't need liver cancer screening. Yes, it's only for high-risk people. Who are those people? People with a history of chronic hepatitis B, chronic hepatitis C, with advanced fibrosis, cirrhosis, or cirrhosis from any other causes, like could be alcohol or non-alcoholic as well, the fatty liver patients who have no history of alcoholism, uh, hematochromatosis, which is a um, iron storage uh, disease, too much iron in the liver, certain genetic and metabolic um, conditions like anti alpha one antitrypsin deficiency or Wilson's disease, which is a copper um, uh, metabolism related disease of the liver. So what are the main screening modalities? Ultrasound of the abdomen, that's the first line, every six months, non-invasive, widely available, inexpensive, detects focal liver lesion. Uh, it's operated dependent, that's the uh, drawback. So, you know, if the, the person who is taking the ultrasound is not good, the result is not gonna be good. Um, and it has limited accuracy if um, a patient is really obese or have fatty liver. But it's still a gold standard initial screening test. Alpha fetoprotein is a blood test. A tumor marker sometimes elevated in hepatocellular carcinoma, a simple blood test. It's elevated in non-cancer liver disease as well. So it gives you false positive, you know, and it also gives you false negative. Like some liver cell cancer, um, they don't secrete alpha fetoprotein. But if you combine ultrasound with alpha fetoprotein, it becomes wonderful, right? Because it's gonna improve sensitivity compared to either test alone and you can check it every six months. And it's recommended by AASLD and EASL for high-risk patients. CT scan and MRI uh, with contrast. It's the most accurate for characterizing liver lesion. Cons, it's expensive. Radiation exposure, contrast risk. Uh, not practical for routine screening. Um, the diagnostic tool for suspicious ultrasound or abnormal alpha fetoprotein test, not for routine screening. But if some executives want to get it done, they're going to spend their own money and get it done, but the insurance would not cover it. Um, other serum biomarkers like emerging in nature, this gamma carboxy prothrombin is called DCP alpha fetoprotein L3 fraction and liquid biopsy called ctDNA. They may improve early detection, but they're experimental, not widely available, and they are in research stage only. So best to worst, you got ultrasound every six months baseline, ultrasound alpha fetoprotein every six months best sensitivity. AFP alone, not good in and by itself, CT MRI, it has only diagnostic usefulness. New biomarkers, they are investigational. So, thank you for watching. Have a great evening.